has been a very difficult situation and uh, for many years uh, we had like uh, an impact of uh, drug trafficking in our region and mostly uh, cartels from Mexico moving down and operating in Central America and to a point where there was a lot of influx of uh, resources, finances, uh, and even uh, logistical support in Central America. And uh, it was uh, a couple of years ago, um, maybe, well, like a decade ago, uh, that uh, leaders uh, in Central America, mostly uh, we know in Honduras, there was an intention or there was a plan to deal with this because uh, the cartels, the uh, drug trafficking rings had infiltrated so much uh, society uh, that they were impacting the judicial uh, instances, they were impacting even le legislative branch and uh, executive uh, ministries, institutions, and uh, they were infiltrated everywhere. And so uh, there was uh, about 10 years ago, like um, minds uh, of uh, the country, like uh, leaders of different sectors started to say, we have to do something about this, the security situation here is unbearable. Uh, we have to think of the livelihood and the future of our children and grandchildren. And uh, we have to deal with the situation in Honduras, we cannot wait for something to happen from the outside. And then it's when we started to uh, approve in Congress the extradition laws. Uh, and as you know, or maybe you've been following, uh, there have been a lot of cases here in the United States dealing with drug trafficking and cartels and the impact of these in uh, Honduras and our region and also uh, the, the impact in the United States and worldwide. And so um, I uh, was in the legislative branch before I came here and served in the UN. And so I have a lot of experience and I have some insight of what was happening in Honduras, you know, uh, before, before this decade that uh, all the leaders said, okay, hands on, let's deal with the situation.